there's the uh, new build, new bit, new. I'm not very good at making this work. Um, I have uh, some new stuff I've got done. For example, you can now go into the scrapbook and select images that you've taken, and it'll tell you about them. I'll probably still have to change that at some point, the way it's laid out. Oh, you can be hit while you're in the menu, by the way, because I wanted it to not be that you can... Same with the pause, well, not the pause menu, but the like the, the menu to go back to the menu. Cause just because I don't want that to be something that you can exploit. And because, I mean, also items are... Um, Items will be able to do stuff like heal you, and so I don't want people to just be able to access them at any time without risk by going into the menu. Um, but yeah, so you can just click on these now. That's. I also have an inventory thing started. It's not. I haven't really done that yet, but um, another thing I did is saving is now. Now these the comp shells that you save in. You can wait in there, and if you're in there, then then you can't get hurt. I also did got this new room. I'm gonna start making down here. It's like a side trail for the main. Uh, change these area this area over here is whoop. there's another secret over here it's gonna be a smaller one but um if you go over here you know it hurts you but if you jump up here and fall down it'll take you to another room they'll be you know on the side of It'll be on the side of that room, and you won't be able to get back up through here because obviously that would be. So instead, you'll you'll go down here and then you know fall to the side, which would take you back into that area earlier. Here is uh, deep trench. I have done some slight change. I have changed the shaders, I think, since the last public one, so you might notice that as well. I might tone down the amount of brightness on this, but I really want that to be glowing, so, so you know, light and stuff. I'm gonna have to get some of the light stuff working over here as well. But that's gonna be I figure out. Honestly, I could probably just do the same tactic. I feel like I've got a lot done, but I just can't really think. I think did I already show the items that are dropping now that you can find. Um, like the Spunga pets have a chance of dropping them. Oh, yeah, I'm not playing very well, but. Oh, oh, I changed the game uh, over menu to the game over uh, thing to play the song a little bit later that so it doesn't uh, get cut off and instead like actually starts right as you see the game over screen. This will be, um, up here will be another side thing. Or alternatively, a separate egg entrance into the, uh, an alternative entrance into the uh, into the coral cav coral caverns or coral whatever 
what I said I'd call it, the Coral Place. We're going up from there right now. I also, I'm trying to figure out what it is about the camera movement that doesn't sit right with me. I mean, I like it. It's just that something slightly off. I just can't figure out what direction. It's hard with the subtle detail. Maybe I should stop making these things so late at night. Next time I make a devlog, I should make it right after I have coffee. Done. Oh, I completely redid all the way that information is saved so that I could save everything properly. Like, uh, now I can, like, I could put an object that you can, uh, like, break or something, and then when you come back after saving, it'll still be broken. Rather than just the save being things like your location and inventory, it's also, like, world stuff as well. I'm going to have to completely redo this room entirely. I don't even think the aesthetic's going to be the same. Because there's too much coral when this isn't supposed to be a coral area. It's supposed to lead into the, it's supposed to be up there. But. Oh, yep, see that's you want it to work. Yeah, I haven't actually gone in this room since for like a very long time now. This was the original testing room. It's kind of fun to be back here. I remember when this game was still like like two weeks in and it was like a pixel art game and man that was not how I'm very happy I changed that because Pixel art can be fine, but honestly, this aesthetic really works a lot better for it. Really gets the vibe across a lot better. Anyway, I should uh, show off the game over screen now. So yeah, you'll notice now the, the music actually cuts in properly and it makes it more, feel more natural because of that. I'm going to work on getting some more dialogue stuff done as well. It's just hard to find time for the stuff. I did, um, I guess kind of news, I did file for Creamer Bean Studio to be a, a legal like business name. Mostly just so that I can put that on uh, as the like the business name behind uh, the game when I like any game I when I finish it. I really think it'll just be this one and maybe one other before this one, just because I accidentally bought two Steam Directories, so I might as well make a second game. The other one's gonna be a lot more of a um a lot more just a. Uh, f programming flex like just testing and stuff and not not really like this game's still the main one that I'm putting all the effort into the other one's just kind of like a just like fun little thing I'm working on that's just like testing out a bunch of stuff with it and learning how to do stuff that I don't do in this game that I've been interested in like figuring out how to do it's uh, gonna be like a rogue it's a, it's a rogue like or rogue glider one of the two where it just like randomly kind of generates the it doesn't yeah it kind of randomly generates like characters and stuff to meet and stuff it's so it's just it's a simple game but i think it'll be fun i might show that here at some point 
when I actually have like more to show. Anyway, that is um, all for that.